pharma major AstraZeneca's coronavirus vaccine development process hit a snag when its ongoing phase 3 trials had to be stopped because a participant showed signs of severe illness that may or may not be caused by the vaccine. The incident demonstrates the importance of following all the stages of the clinical trial rigorously before a vaccine that has been found to be suitable for testing on humans is approved for use. Here's what you need to know of the three stages of clinical trials before a vaccine is approved for use. Phase 1 Tested on small group of healthy adult volunteers, maybe one to two dozen for safety. Minor side effects like headache or fever is expected, but vaccine is not considered safe if it triggers any major complications. Unsafe vaccines do not progress to the next stage. Phase 2 usually done on a few hundred healthy adult participants. Main objective to see whether vaccine triggers immune responses in human body. This phase also assesses the vaccine dosage required to trigger an adequate immune response. Phase 3 Vaccine is tried on thousands of participants. Leading coronavirus vaccines have enrolled between 20,000 and 60,000 participants. One half is injected with the vaccine, the other half gets a dummy. Participants don't know what they have got. They are allowed to carry on with their normal lives. Participants are usually followed for several months to check on their responses. After a few days or weeks, they are checked to see if the group that got the vaccine shows higher resistance to the infection than the other one. If yes, the vaccine is considered effective. More than 175 vaccine candidates in preclinical or clinical trials, 34 in clinical trials. 8 in final stages, phase 3 of human trials. At least 8 candidate vaccines are being developed in India. Two of these have entered phase 2 trials after completing phase 1. The most talked about ones, AstraZeneca or Oxford University, Moderna, Pfizer or BioNTech, Johnson & Johnson, Sanofi GlaxoSmithKline, Novavax, Russian vaccine developed by Gamaleya Institute in Moscow.